welcome back. Matt Cardle will be here in a bit, but first... Oh, yes. They're the British comics who've got Hollywood falling at their feet and Spielberg on speed dial. Put your hands together for Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. <laughs> Well, you're not going to have a drink because you've given up booze. I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And but you still drink? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, surprise me. Oh. I'm in your hands. Oh, don't say that. Why? Because last time we had some bloody Mariah Carey champagne when it's I was the, on the it's the weekend. Yeah. I think there was something in that, you know, because I, I was hallucinating by the last guest. <laughs> I think she pees in it. Oh. Really? oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that Ginzano Brown? I it's never remembered it being brown. No, cos this is the original Bianco Vermouth. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it oh, means right. it's quality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there a mixer? I'm just taking it. He said unscrewing the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't think I've got a mixer. Uh, would you have a Highland Earl? Yeah, let's take a little whiskey. Ooh. I like That'd a whiskey. Be good. Do you, oh, you don't, you don't. Do you ever, like, give in and have a little bit? No, I cut it out for... I had to get in shape for a film, and I thought, well, the biggest... Uh, the evil of empty calories is booze, and so oh, yeah. I cut that out, and I, I, I became right skinny quite quickly. And, I, and I'm happy. I'm happy being sk fucking hell. <laughs> it's fine. You'll get it. You'll find it. Alan, this show will kill you. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no one stops me drinking. Oh. I am the number one chat show host. <laughs> Don't forget it. No. Oh. Just, you don't have to make it, do you now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've just become a dad, haven't I you? I have, yeah. Yeah. Four months. <laughs> Thank you very much. Four months? What's that? Is that can they talk and walk yet? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, that's good. <laughs> that, he's doing it all. He's working. <laughs> uh, he rides a unicycle <laughs> to college. Uh, no, I mean, he, but he basically does nothing. Uh, yeah. except <laughs> eat and Lazy shit. bastard. Yeah. <laughs> so, how, how are you coping with sleepless nights and dirty nappies and uh, all of that? It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. We're just getting on with it. There's, there's no point in moaning, right? No. It feels like old times for me and him being covered in so much sick and poo, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Like, <laughs> about 15 years ago. Mm. But, because uh, I had one in a couple of years ago, so... Yeah, yeah we're both riding the, uh, the dad glory. If the dowry is right, perhaps they will marry. <laughs> We're hoping. <laughs> I'll have to pay for the damn yes, thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. But we think we c if we get our kids to get together, then finally our DNA will become one to create one <laughs> little <laughs> super comedy thing. <laughs> what we couldn't do, what we, what, what we tried yeah. so many times but failed. <laughs> Uh, does becoming a dad change the kind of films that you pick now? Is it a case of goodbye, the human centipede, hello, the very hungry caterpillar? <laughs> <laughs> Which is more disturbing. Uh, I don't think I've ever loved you more. <laughs> right now. I, yeah, I, I generally, at the moment, I watch Toy Story, Tangled and the Ice Age films uh, over and over and over again. And I'll tell you, if, uh, they do not get tiring. I absolutely I adore them. I don't really? mind watching them over and over again. No, yeah, no, mine's no not adverts. at that point yet. So you can put Human Centipede on and he slights the colours. <laughs> <and> the... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know there's a delicious experiment. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> human Centipede is bad only if you're at, in the middle or the, the back. Yeah, if you're at the front, you're having a whale of a oh, time. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. <laughs> You're in the new Tintin <laughs> film as Thompson and Thompson. Yeah. You're two of the most hopeless policemen that you'll ever see on screen, aren't they? They are. They're, they're sort of bumbling is the word, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, ham-fisted has been used. bandied around as well. Uh, the film also stars Daniel Craig and Andy Serkis, and Tintin is actually played by Louis Walsh. <laughs> the two of them. Um... <laughs> that's wow. <laughs> that's uncanny. <laughs> Uh, you got the you got your part uh, first in the film, and then you got is it true you got Nick the part? No, I didn't. I suggested that what happened was I went to meet Steven Spielberg, and, and he as uh, the whole thing was a, a, a I went along to be a writer on the film, and uh, and Steven said, well, you know, you, you, why don't you be in it? You're an actor, and um, and said about the Thompson twins, and he said, is there an actor you work well with and like? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 
<laughs> him. Oh. I mean, Spielberg is an idol of yours, isn't he? Yeah. You must have creamed your drawers when you got the part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously. We both, we both did cream our drawers. Um, no, it was... It, 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 we, we used to hold it in. We'd go and we'd do our work and, we, you know, you've got to be professional. So we'd go and we'd... We'd sit with him at the video monitor and sort of lean over and say, what was it like making Close Encounters? Like we were trying to make conversation. Like we're not bothered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <that's laughs> Here's a question. What was it like making E.T.? Boring. And, uh, <laughs> he would, and he'd sort of tell you, because he's very... He's not at all sort of... Uh, he doesn't play false modest, but he doesn't yeah. boast either. So, yeah. And then when we got out of the room, we'd jump up and down and cream our drawers. Yeah. But yeah. You, had to, you had to wait until you are out of the room. But he's so nice. He he's is to, to nerds what Kylie is to gays. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> We've got a clip from the film here. Oh. Here you are taking charge of the investigation with Tintin. Before he lost consciousness, Dawes tried to tell me something, and I think he was spelling out a word. B O U D J A N. Caribou Jean. Caribou Jean! Does that mean anything to you? Great Scotland Yard! Oh, that's extraordinary! What is? Worthington's ever half price sale on bowler hats. Really, Thompson? This is hardly the time. Great Scotland Yard! What is it? Kane's a half price too. Are you going to take charge of this evidence? Positively. Never fear, Tintin. The evidence is safe with us. <laughs> oh! uh, Thompson? Uh, what are you? Oh, well, I, I'm already downstairs. <laughs> Not only is Steven Spielberg involved, Peter Jackson from Lord of the Rings, he's involved as well. Yeah. Yes. And he was directing you via his computer <laughs> in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Now that sounds a bit grubby. He was co director, <laughs> wasn't he? In... Was it a bit like, touch, you know, do this? Do it was this. like Babe Station, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um... How does it work, though? What did he say? Do this. Do no, that. What, what it was was Steven Show Spielberg. Me your was... <laughs> <laughs> Steven Spielberg was directing on, on set, but Peter Jackson was in New Zealand, but he, he's producing the film and was also kind of just there for, Steve, for backup for Stephen, basically, so he could chip in. But uh, when we were rehearsing, we, we did a few sort of routines as the Thompson twins. We got, you know, didn't we? We did a kind of little, yeah. little act, for, uh, and, and Peter wanted to see it, but, so... But the producer would come in ten minutes before and say, Peter's on his way, get ready, Peter's on his way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, Peter Jackson's coming! Yeah. And then someone would walk in with a laptop. <laughs> With his, with his face on it, it and he'd be there and they, someone would say, could someone get Peter a, a stool, please? And then they put... And then have to get... They got him a director's chair and put him on it, on, uh, on that. <laughs> and, then he'd, and then we'd do our little, oh, hello, Tintin stuff, and then, uh, and, then, and then he'd go, that's great, brilliant. Can I go back to the other room? And then they'd pick him up and they'd take him out. <laughs> he was like a head in a jar, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> was you actually a fan of Tintin before you uh, got there? Did you read the books? Didn't read the books, but... No, we, I mean, I think we were both big fans of the cartoon, but as soon as I got the job, I went out and bought all the books yeah. to do my homework. Uh, but it, I don't know about the Tintin books. Simon, it was actually this book, The Facts of Love, <laughs> that was your favourite book. What's it all about? Ah! <laughs> I can't believe you found that! Oh, yes. Look at that. Vaginas. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, one thing I can tell you is this, this isn't my copy because this page and this page I couldn't separate. Uh, <laughs> but it's definitely the same book. No, I was looking at, I mean, some of the things in here, look at this. Oh, just how this woman gave it, I mean, wow. sod the baby, look at that hair. <coughs> I know. Look at that hair. It's very Which was a homeless alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonder she got a shag in the first place. <laughs> And this one here, I mean, this, uh, I mean, look at that. Wow. I mean, wow. that's the worst dot to dot you've ever seen. <laughs> you can see that's a cock. All the best. <laughs> some are shoulders, some are girls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I mean, that's ridiculous, because, I mean, obviously, they're not normally that big, and that just puts people, like, you know, makes them think... I was excited when not? I saw that as a kid. I thought, great, that's something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost cock. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the adventures of Tintin. Thank you very much. As if you need it. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs> Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for coming on. Wonderful. After the break, Matt Cardle will be here. I'll see you in part three.